Hi and welcome to Rankwatch. Today we'll be covering how you can create the perfect template for your reporting in this tutorial. So moving into this, the first step we need to do is actually choose your template name. For example, we'll just put this in here and what we need to do now is we need to actually upload your logo. So now we've done that, you've got another option which is if you want to actually include your logo or URL in the footer of the report and you just basically tick here if you do or you do not. So the next stage is if you want to have a cover page to your report, you can just decide this and add the content of that page. And as we move down, the next step is whether you require a table of content. Likewise, you can choose if you wish to include the summary page, if yes, and then decide of the content of that page. Once we've done that, we just click on next. Now, this is where the interesting bit happens. You can actually choose the following options you wish to actually appear on your report and the way you want the report to look like. So you can actually individually choose each option and work this depending on what your client needs to see. So what we've got here is the page rank, which comes along with this graph. And we've also got the Alexa rank of the website, the number of pages being crawled by Google and in its index, and the number of backlinks. Now what we've got here is the rankings in pages 1, 2 and page 3. We'll actually show you the number of keywords that are listed on pages 1, 2 or 3 for you. And what we can do is show you the keywords which are listed first to third. And this will show you the number of keywords you actually have ranked in the top three positions across all the search engines. The top 50 or the top 100. We will show you the keywords in the top 50 or the top 100 respectively. This section here is what's moved up or what's moved down. We'll show you how many keywords have gone up or what's gone down and we'll actually see if something's not ranked for you. So what we mean by not ranked is if it's out of the top 100, so anything from pages 10 onwards, we won't crawl for you because you're so far away and you know we could carry on crawling for 500 pages. So it's not worth it because no one will look there anyway. Now what we've got here in the ranking report is an option to show your rankings in a simple format. If you wish the report to be of a time period, let's just say the 1st of January to the 10th of January, this will show your rankings in that period from being obviously increased or decreased. And what we can do is compare them in that time. You can choose further about this in the normal ranking section to sort for example, high to low ranking. So which are the ones you're dominating and which are the ones that need work. As we move through, you can actually choose to display all the keywords or just the ones ranked in the top 10 pages. So what we've got here is a keyword snippet, and this will just show you the extra rankings. And as we're moving through, you'll be able to see you can actually switch on the keyword volume, and this will just give you the indication of how many searches are being roughly generated per month for the keywords you're targeting. As we just go to the next section, which is based on analytics data, It'll actually track all your keyword activity in a neat format so you can make calculated decisions with the information such as page traffic, number of new visitors, impressions and your bounce rate. For this next part of the report, we actually reflect all the information on your backlink activity, which is key for yourself and your client in making decisions with your link building campaigns. So in this report, you can include information on backlinks such as do follow versus no follow, text versus image, and what's the strongest page. You can actually also switch here to detailed analytics and export this report as well. The ranking history in this section will allow you to show the rankings of a day-to-day -day basis if the report for a period of time, i.e. the 1st of January to the 10th of January. This will show your rankings of that period and it will show them on your day increments as you can see. This just gives you a lot of help to analyse and pinpoint the days when your rankings have gone up or down or identify across a range of clients if there's been a Google update. And in a case with the keywords, we've also got such rankings as images, news, local, and you can export them as well. Because when you're doing your activities, you might actually be ranking for some news pieces when you've done some PR activity. So you want to be aware of this so you know what you're being found for. Also, in this section, please keep in mind that for the additional ranking report and additional ranking history, the data will only be generated if the keyword has additional rankings. Otherwise, we'll actually not generate any data for this and just leave it blank. Now we're on the final stages. 
In this section you need to select if you would like a thank you page. If yes, then please decide on the content you want on this page and it will be included on the report. And there you have it, it's a perfect way to impress your clients or your manager in a nice simple way which doesn't take you a lot of time. So we hope you found this information useful, however if you do have any questions please drop us a line at support at rankwatch.com and we'll be happy to help.